What's your growth strategy right now on TikTok? What's the what's the plan there? I'm actually in the process, so I would say bonus footage is that is that um you know how tech when tech companies release they do like the the MVP right. they do version 1.0 2.0 I think I'm reaching like probably 2.0 right now like okay. zero to ten thousand was you know getting my voice down trying to figure out like how people respond and interact on the app and just experimenting from there i saw that the cre creator highlights were working so i was highlighting creators their success stories and and trying to encapsulate them like one key takeaway that helped them get to this certain amount of success and trying to tell it in a 20 to 30 second video and like that's where i i, I positioned it that was that was part of the content and then the other content was timeless content that I called evergreen, evergreen content that was just principles of the creative process I've learned over the years that I thought anyone could could um, get insights from. The problem with that type of content, it's not that sexy. Like it's not going to go viral. Like not that many people care about the creative process, even though you need that to eventually make the money. So I, I realized like a good combo of those two. Now, now I'm at 50K and, and my strategy now, believe it or not, for the next like month or two i've been doing these videos that are creator strategy videos and after a video i made for will smith a bunch of people started writing hired hired you're hired like yeah i hire you so then i was just like all right i'm just gonna start giving people strategy and uh, i started just giving people strategy a couple of them started to take off in a way that wasn't for you page takeoff but it was comment takeoff like hundreds uh, probably thousands of now of, of creators saying hired you're hired you're hired so i'm like all right this is a high leverage type of content like this is my target audience all wanting ideas from me and now i'm just like oh what did i do i, I like i actually don't know what the heck like there's certain people and like some people are like kind of getting pushed they're saying oh dude i've been saying hired for weeks now i'm like bro like literally hundreds and hundreds of people have been saying that and the way that i the, so here you asked me what the strategy was now. I'm actually not thinking growth. I'm thinking connection right now mm -hmm. for the next month or two. And that's just a positioning in my brain that I just like – it just makes it fun for me. I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to go directly to what I think would be good ideas, either if it's for a bigger creator that smaller creators could steal from or I'm going to give out strategy to, to someone that is, is asking for it. And um, it's just – it's pretty basic like – yeah, you know, there's so much only so much strategy you can give in a 30 second video. Right. But there are ideas that like I feel like you and I we would have 40 of them on one phone call. But I realize not everyone sees it that way. And it and by helping someone else like kind of like, "Oh, this is what you should do with your husky, you, you know, your TikTok account around your cute huskies." Maybe someone else that has a TikTok account about ice hockey like can can see a little bit of like how they could apply that strategy to their brand. So I'm just experimenting with it. Like is that, this, this is version 2.0, 3.0, whatever. And I'm experimenting with going like very hyper focused to like into, like people of like how they can either build or uh, yeah, continue to build their creator brands. And it seems to be working engagement wise. The for you page hasn't popped off yet, but uh, I'm, I'm going to continue to experiment with it. So bonus footage 2.0, really focusing on the connection with the audience. Love to hear that, bro. Yeah. Love to hear that. Yeah, that and the green screen videos. Uh, I am. Uh, I, I love the green screen videos first, and like I think my my strategy. I don't know if I'd call it like 2.0, but I'm I'm always trying to like you know slightly change the videos, right? And and constantly make the optimizations. And like how I think about it now, or how I've kind of always thought about it is, I see TikTok like a funnel, right? Like you have those videos that you kind of design them to go viral. They're the connections like a lot lower. Maybe they're a little bit more like broad audience, but like you're go, going for the for you page, right? You're pushing that. Yeah. And then you have more of those like connection style videos that, you know, kind of the ones you talk about where you're going into like the creative process, you know, that's like, that's not for everyone, but like the people that that is for, that's a, that's a stronger touch point with them. And then I also think about even more bottom funnel content where I'm adding in call to actions, right? I'm letting creators know like, hey, come join the Discord group or I'm talking to brands and say, hey, sign up for a call with me, right? And trying to land clients that way. So that's kind of how I see my strategy, just like that that overall funnel. And for me, the green screen, especially the fast paced green screen, like kind of short, that's been my go-to for the top funnel. Like those have kind of just been clicking yeah. for me lately. Like the short, fast paced, like, Here's some type of like creator economy update with like the news article in the background. And it's just like, boom, 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 boom. That stuff kind of hits. It's not that strong of a touch point. It's more like a, a, an awareness for you page. 
and then they're in the funnel, right? Then they're getting, then they're getting those higher value touch points. I'm trying to channel them into, you know, the email list, into the Discord, and you just start to get more of that, uh, that presence everywhere. Then, right? You know, you get the the connections all over. 